Hello everyone, Dark Chiron here. I uh, say the name so that whenever you whore out my videos, you can more properly tell people about them. You know, not that I'm telling you to to, to whore out my videos or anything. Uh, you, you don't really have to to tell anybody about them at all. It's it's fine. Well, now that uh, Call of Cthulhu Torment of My Soul is over, it's time for some announcements. Uh, firstly, we'll be doing the disappointing bits. I know a lot of people want to see it, but I am not going to be doing another run on Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, it's just not going to happen. There's a lot. There's some other people that have started doing some videos of it uh, after I had done it and they decided they wanted to do it too, but with a different clan. I'll probably put links to them on the side. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't think you guys understand exactly how uh, not different the the game would be if I play with a different clan. Most people don't have, don't even have a special green for most of the clans like they did for Malkavians. Uh, they also don't have different lines of dialogue that they say for the most part. Uh, your choices for dialogue options whenever as, as responses are worded differently, but they are essentially the same. So the other people have no reason to respond differently to them. Uh, there's just nothing different about the game. There's no new missions. There's no uh, secrets. I mean, the only things I can think of really are special havens if you're Tremere or Nosferatu, and that's pretty much it. And I'm not going to be going to those havens anyway because they're in out of the place, out of the way places that you don't really want to go to. So I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. Uh, playing this game over again would be like if I played Eternal Darkness over again, but picked a different deity and said everything in a Scottish accent. Wait. Should I no, 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 that'd be, that'd be silly. What? it? Also, in another video that nobody watched, I know that I said I was going to do uh, two different games. Uh, first of all, Bioshock. Uh, I decided not to do Bioshock because it has a lot of a story told through recordings that you find, which are all voice acted, of course. And the problem is that I would want to l let you listen to all of those because it helps with getting into the immersion of the of the story of what happened in the rapture, and it also uh, kind of gets you more into the setting, I guess. Um, and there's just no way to really listen to all of those and keep the pace, because uh, if you get into combat while they're playing, the combat's a lot louder than uh, the recordings are. So I would have to sit still and listen to the recordings every time I found a recording, which would be all the time. And I just don't want to have to do. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that. It 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 wouldn't work out well. So I will tell you a guy who has done a Bioshock playthrough. Uh, that English dude. That's what his uh, account name is. He's done a complete. He's finished Bioshock all the way. He went the uh, the the route of saving all the little sisters. Uh, if you want to see a game where somebody's just beats the shit out of the game as a master at it. Uh, First of all, I don't think you'd be watching me, <laughs> uh, but uh, he, he's um, he's not a grand master at the game, but he does play it pretty competently, and he beats it. And the other game I said I was going to do was Pikmin. Well, uh, the, the thing I was doing, wanting to do with Pikmin was I was wanting to record it and then do the commentary over it as if it was uh, some kind of nature documentary, you know, like you... You were watching on the, the Discovery Channel uh, documentary on the Pikmin and their lifestyles or something. <laughs> um, I don't know if it would actually work or not, but that's what I was thinking of doing. And right now, I'm just... I don't find myself being able to, to do it. I, I can't think of anything uh, really well to, to do for it, so... I'm probably just not going to do it. And that kind of sentiment about Pikmin is... Uh, is something I kind of want to try to do for most of my videos. I want to do make, put a little bit more effort into them and make them more of a production instead of just you know some guy playing a video game. So I'm I, I am definitely trying to put more work into my videos, which leads me into the next uh, segment what of what I am going to be doing. Silent Hill Two. Now this game is a very popular survival horror game, and for good reason. And it's one of my favorites, actually. So, um, <clears throat> the game is not actually uh, well known because of its gameplay. And uh, that would be because the gameplay is, quite frankly, crap. Uh, it, it doesn't control very well. 
and uh, the combat and everything is kind of uh, poor. I'll say poor. Now, what really is good about it is the story and the characters. Under the surface, when you get down into it, it has a lot of very good symbolism and uh, some very good uh, instances of psychological elements to the game that really make it kind of stand out and shine. So, what I was try thinking of doing was instead of just a straight playthrough of it, I was going to instead uh, do a kind of a video essay series, uh, so to speak, about the characters, the monsters, and, and all the endings of the game. So, it wouldn't be a straight playthrough like some of the other stuff I've been doing, but it would contain gameplay footage while I discuss some of the more hidden things and some of the things that tie the game together and what kind of elements are, are going on behind the scenes. Now, some of you might be thinking that I'm a little bit crazy for wanting to try something like this, but you would be stupid. I can't be crazy, because I have a shirt saying how normal I am. Would a crazy person have a shirt saying that? No. Now that I think about it, where's your shirt saying how normal you are? You don't have one, do you? You know why? I bet you're the crazy person. Yeah, you're the crazy person, aren't you? I bet you sit in your basement all day and go on insane tirades of people who aren't there about how crazy you are. And uh, for those of you who want some more stuff in the older style of what I've been doing so far, I'm not going to leave you out in the cold because I know that life without my witty, impromptu uh, comments is really a living hell. So I have chosen this game here. Beyond Good and Evil. Beyond Good and Evil is apparently a very good game. I say apparently because I have never played it. Uh, yes, I... I've never played this game, and apparently so many people think I'm a heretic for never playing. This is going to be a blind run of this game. I don't know what the gameplay is, I don't know what the story is, I don't know what you're supposed to do in the game beyond taking pictures of things. And that was pretty much told by the woman holding the camera on the front cover. Um, so I have no idea at all about what the game is, or what happens, or what kind of game it is even. And more importantly, I want you to note this, I do not want to know. I don't want to know the story, I don't want to know the characters, I don't know what, want to know what happens, I don't want to know where the secrets are at, I don't want to know what items you collect, I don't want to know anything. Nothing. At all. I can't tell you how much it pisses me off when people spoil things that I haven't experienced yet. Uh, movies, games, uh, television shows, anything. If somebody tells me what's going to happen in them, I I get rather upset. Uh, it's just one of my pet peeves. I really hate it. So, if you don't want me to hate you, don't tell me what's going to happen. It's that simple. <laughs> well, um, I suppose that's it. I don't really have anything else to talk about. So, uh, the Silent Hill 2 stuff will probably be a little bit later uh, on because I have to actually beat the game before I can get enough footage to actually start doing the videos. Uh, so that will be a little while, uh, but the Beyond Good and Evil stuff will be starting uh, fairly soon. Oh, and uh, also I'm going to be making another part to my set of videos making fun of Final Fantasy X. Uh, I know they're not such a popular uh, set of videos, and uh, quite frankly the first two out of three <laughs> I didn't do a very good job on, uh, quite frankly. But I'm trying to improve, and these videos are just mainly for me to get into practicing uh, the scripted comedy, seeing what works, what doesn't work, and kind of uh, getting the practice into editing videos in that manner because I want to do most of my videos in that style eventually, but I just have to work my way up to it. Anyways, uh, that's all, and I'll uh, see you all uh, with the Beyond Good and Evil videos.